The prison guard is never going to willingly let you out of the cell. Think about that one for a second. Hello, Ralph McIntyre with Astromat Links. Well, I've been talking about doing this video for a couple nights now, and I'm actually going to do it. <laughs> surprise, surprise, surprise. Karma. Karmic debt. And interestingly enough, just like the more and more I sit with this question and I think about the nodes of the moon, because so often from an evolutionary astrology perspective, karma represented by the south node of the moon, which happens to be in Libra right now, the relationship with other people and the north node of the moon, so to speak, where we're going is in Aries, the self. So we have this relationship with others, and we have this relationship with self. And then we have this concept of karma. So I want to step back and I want to unpack that statement about the prison guard not willingly going to let you out of the prison. And so what is the prison? Well, on some levels, the prison's the mind. But it's a little more complicated than that. So if you think about your higher self, your soul, and the divine, wanting you to kind of remember that you're not trapped in this physical form, that you're oneness with the divine, and that we come down into this physical realm, and one of the things that we're kind of, so to speak, lied to is that we're trapped. This is me, you know? This is my body. I, I have all this karma. I messed up last time. I got to pay my karmic debt. And these are all concepts that on some levels keep us trapped, you know? Responsibilities for others. Libra. The needs of others, the needs of self, Libra. And interestingly enough, as we are talking about this, and I cannot tell you how many people have asked me about karma debt like in the last week. I'm just like, wow, did the debt collector come out and say, hey, it's time to pay up. Or maybe it's just time to kind of like take a new look at this. And so Libra ruled by Venus, which happens to be ruled in the sign of Virgo as I'm speaking. And then Aries, ruled by Mars, happening to be in the sign of Scorpio as I speak. Now that Venus is going to move signs relatively quickly. The Venus kind of stays uh, right around the sun. So, you know, give or take 30 days or more, depending on whether it's retrograding or not. The Venus moves through the signs. You know, the Mars takes a little bit longer to do that. So we're going to have Mars in Scorpio for a little bit longer than that Venus is going to be in Virgo. But let's just unpack that. So the south node of the moon, one way of looking at the south node of the moon is how we got it wrong. And it's not so much how we got it wrong, how it went wrong, or how the situation was not as optimal as it could be. So this needs of self, needs of others, taking care of self, taking care of others is kind of the realm. And then Virgo is like, what I know is right, you know? Or another way of Virgo is like of service, servitude, how I serve the collective. And it's also the physical form. Virgo has a lot to do with the physical form. And so these are all realms in which, so to speak, hypothetically, from a collective perspective, they're up for healing or changing or having a different perspective. And then the North Node is kind of where we're going or where we're the most, so to speak, ignorant. And I don't mean ignorant as in dumb. I mean ignorant as in we don't know. There's a big difference. As I had my friend told me, stupid goes for a long time. Ignorant can be changed. 
You know, if you don't know something, speaking from a Gemini perspective, you can always learn it. You know, if you can't learn it, you know, so to speak, if it's above your pay grade, that's a whole different story. So, taking a look at things from a different perspective. And so, karmic debt. So, let me step back and unpack this a little bit because I'm going to kind of go esoteric on you. And uh, if this feels right to you, take it on. If it doesn't, don't take it on. You definitely do not have to believe what I'm about to say. And if you do not believe what I have to say, you know, you could stay out of my comments. I don't really need any comments on that. But if you want to, I, you know, feel free to uh, make a comment. And so, the prison guard... The mind, the ego, wanting to keep us trapped into thinking that we're stuck in this physical form. One of the things I notice about society is there's often a lot of beliefs that are designed to keep people stuck. You know, fair is another one of those words. A lot of words we use are fall into this design to keep us stuck should be fair balanced and some of those words keep us stuck some of the philosophies of life keep us stuck karma karmic debt Hey, if you believe you're in debt, you're going to work for me forever, aren't you? So, God, I got to keep you thinking that you've got some, so much karmic debt. Yeah, keep keep working. Keep stick stuck in those patterns. You know, keep, keep in that cell. Keep plugging away at your, so to speak, prison right there. It's interesting because Aries is kind of a concept of freedom. Hey, I don't owe anyone anything. It's kind of an Aries concept. So, karma. What is karma? Well, for one thing, I'm definitely not going to pretend like I know what karma is. I have some thoughts that I'm going to talk about, but, you know, by all means, you know, if they feel right to you, take them on. But the more and more I sit with that word karma, I think about habits. You know, I'm a big Yogananda fan these days, and he talks a lot about the habit of the soul. You know, when the soul dies, when the body dies with a habit, it comes forward, you know. The south node of the moon ruling the karma, so to speak. Excuse me. The moon, the emotional nature, the emotional habits. So what is debt? That is an interesting concept. I owe I got something, I need to now repay it. I'm working off of something that I got yesterday. Last lifetime. You know, for a while I used to think about karma as like, you did something horrific and then you had to have something horrific happen to you. You know, and... and the more and more I step back, I think it's kind of a little different. I notice this a lot. That It's like if you look at the habit and the tactics of a lot of different people, they're, they're similar, you know? So if you were super controlling in your past life, you might come forward and be super controlling in this life. You know, if you did a bunch of horrific things in your past life, you might come forward and do a bunch of horrific things in your future life. 
in on the same note, if you had a bunch of horrific things done to you in your past life, you might come forward seeking out those same horrific things. Thinking, oh, I, I got to pay my debt. <laughs> I, got, I got to go off and pay my debt. Back to that prison guard not wanting to let you out. And this is where Pluto and Aquarius, and you thought I wasn't going to bring in a little Pluto. You know how I am. I can't help myself. Do a video without talking in at least a little Pluto. Breaking free of the mental traps, Aquarius. Doing things different. So we got these nodes. Aries, Libra, kicking it off. You know, the craziness in the world, all this stuff going on with Israel, the conflict, and the conflict even about the conflict. It's fascinating to see how polarized people are on just the conflict, you know? As long as I believe this, it's all right for young kids to die. Or if I believe that, it's all right for young kids to die. Step back and like, okay, where's the mind? Where's the prison guard justifying different thoughts? You know? So, karmic, karma, habits. What if it's more about habits? What is more about soul habits, soul personas? Because so often when I deal with people in readings around karmic death, they're attached to it as a persona. I know I sure am attached to my karmic debt as my persona. Don't be like trying to tell me that I'm not who I think I am. A lot of the work I've been doing right now in my own spiritual practice and, and with my clients is like, hey, wait a minute, what if this wasn't you? What if this concept of karmic debt was the prison guard trying to keep you trapped? What if it's a habit? Because if you think about it, if it's a karmic debt, something you did and that you owe, you're trapped. You ain't getting out of that. You're basically plugging away. But if it's a habit, you're free. All you got to do is break it, change it, do something different. Take the initiative, step forward, run in. So if you think about Libra from a South Node perspective of how we're getting it wrong, I owe. And then if you think about Aries from a North Node perspective of how we're, so to speak, naive to it, I can step forward. I can reach out. And then if you think about Libra ruled by that Virgo Venus right now and Aries ruled by that Mars and Scorpio right now. You know, and Mars and Scorpio ruled by Pluto right now as Capricorn, but Pluto's going to hit into Aquarius. And kind of really want us to like break free of these mental patterns. It's like really what's possible. What is really possible? Way more than the prison guard would ever let us know. And it's a shifty little, sneaky little prison guard. The ego's so sneaky and so shifty. It's always just kind of like sneaking back around and say, like, oh, I'm free. And then all of a sudden, no, wait a minute, I'm not free. Uses words, uses belief systems, uses all sorts of things to kind of keep us trapped. Or maybe keep us of the illusion of being trapped. 
So rather than looking at karma from the perspective of something that's happening to you, something you have to pay, what if karma is just a series of habits that we need to let go of? Wow, could we just be free of karma instantly? Well, I know my little ego mind prison guard's like, no, you can't, no, 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 don't listen to him. He don't know what he's talking about. Don't look behind that green curtain. Oh my God, yeah, don't do that. Pay no attention to what's going on behind the green curtain. Because so much of what we justify, you know, I was thinking about the conflict in the world as a microcosm of the conflict of inside of us. What we do to feel secure, keep ourselves safe, what we justify. You know, so much of the world wants to punish us for what happened yesterday. But what if the, the, the need to punish something, someone for what happened yesterday was the habit? What if you were the one that needed to be punished? Think about that one for a while. What if you got caught up into this habit? So to speak, the righteous habit of what's right. The negative side of Virgo. Mars and Scorpio is kind of an interesting Mars. First of all, it rules Scorpio. But Scorpio is the, the, the real truth, the hidden truth, the underneath the covers truth. The soul level truth. Where are we lying to ourselves? Where are we keeping trapped in habits that no longer serve us? People are asking about Uranus, or excuse me, Pluto in Aquarius. What's going to happen? Oh my God, the transit. Tell me, warn me, help me. Become unrecognizable. Let go of old thoughts, old habits. You know, I really like the Joe Dispenza's work right now about kind of coming at, quieting the mind, getting the mind really quiet and connecting back in with the divine perfection, the oneness with the divine and creating from this unlimited possibilities. Not getting caught up in the mind because the mind is the prison guard. It wants to keep us stuck. Wants us to keep us focused on yesterday rather, rather than the possibilities of tomorrow. Focus on yesterday rather than the possibilities of tomorrow. We've got to pay that karmic debt. We either got to pay that karmic debt or we got to collect that karmic debt. You got to pay the debt of your ancestors. You got to collect the debt of your ancestors. Is that the prison guard keeping us in the prison cell or is that setting us free? I don't know. I often wonder. I do know for myself, one of the things that I'm kind of using this Pluto and Aquarius is like really saying, hey, what part of my life don't I like? And what are the habits that are keeping me there? How can I break them? How can I be someone different? How can I let go of old personas? 
Step into new personas. A lot of the work I do with people in readings is really helping them identify these old kind of soul trapping karmic habits and teaching them ways to break free of them. Letting go. How difficult it is to really let go if you think about it. Holding takes way more strength, way more energy to just let go. But the ego doesn't like that. The prison guard is terrified of that. So it's going to hold. <laughs> That's me. I know who I am. There's a couple things I've been laughing a lot at right now. It's like one of my favorite is like, oh, I've done all my North Node work. Well... From the way I look at it is if you're still breathing, you still have this birth chart, you're still doing North Node work. It's just the way it goes. And then as Pluto comes into Aquarius, and I'm guilty of this. I'm guilty of both of this. I'm not pointing the finger at anyone. I'm pointing the finger at myself and just observing it. Knowing thyself. It's like I have all these thoughts about things that have happened and what I'm capable of, what I'm not capable of. And it's like the prison guard is not going to willingly let us out of prison. It's not going to oh, the door's never been locked. What if the door's an illusion? What if so much of what we've been taught is perpetuating the illusion? Especially us spiritually open-minded, kind of evolving souls. We think we're like above all this, and maybe on some levels we are. But then on some levels, if you step back and you think about it, it's like maybe on some levels we aren't. One of my favorite and least favorite and most horrific aspect of astrology is like, oh, I have this transit, so this, or I have this placement, so this. I'm a Gemini, so this. The prison guard isn't going to willingly let you out of prison. And astrology is a great prison cell. Oh, I got a Pluto transit, oh no. I got a this transit, oh no. I know myself. I'm an Aquarius, I can't fit in. I'm a Gemini, I have to be curious. It's like, wait a minute. Stop, stop. Pluto in Aquarius. The nodes, the south node of the moon in Libra, ruled by Venus to start with. Or excuse me, Virgo, Venus and Virgo to start with. And it's going to move into Leo, and it's a Cancer, Gemini, and around the circle it goes. Are we trapped in this physical world? If you look at some of the Stories. One of the lineage of gurus and Yoganandas is this soul called Babaji. And Babaji was known to come in and out of bodies at will. What does that mean for karmic debt? Jesus died and came back to life. Babaji comes in and out of bodies at will. What are we truly capable of? Well, I'll tell you one thing. Pluto and Aquarius, what we think we're capable of in this moment and what we think of we're capable of when it heads off into Pisces land, going to be way different. So, is it karmic debt or is it karmic habits? 
Are you stuck with this actions of yesterday? Or are you freed by the possibilities of tomorrow? The sun's going to come up. Do you greet the sun saying, hey, what are you bringing into my life that's new today? What habit of yesterday am I just going to let go? Lay down. So I think there's a reason why collectively we're all looking at karmic debt. And when I tune into it, this is kind of what I think. This is what I hear. This is what kind of comes through for me. So, hope I didn't ramble on too long. <laughs> and thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching this video. And have a spectacular day.